Uh, my name's Ben Ridge and I'm the assistant principal at a Chuga Twin River Specialist School. We have approximately 110 students from prep to year 12. Yeah, it's, it's really important to off have options for healthy eating and drinks within the school. We do have fruit break in each of the programs in each morning. We have movement breaks, we have lots of options for um, fruit and vegetables to be accessible through our cafe and through our garden. So we started the garden purely because we moved into project-based learning and it was an opportunity to have a beautiful garden in our school. It's a great opportunity for learning but it's also a great space for regulation for students who may need that little bit of a break. They might go out and do some watering or some picking or even eat some of the produce and that helps them get ready for learning in the classroom. My name is Saxon Nicholson. I'm year 12. It really does calm you down and you just go help uh, can or dust in the garden and you just calm down. We are very lucky to have a cafe purpose built in our main building. The students uh, work with the staff around when things are ready to be harvested and then they pick and um, deliver them over to the cafe. The cafe staff would have planned to use that produce in the week's recipes and then the students are seeing that real um, through line from the garden to the cafe and we've expanded it out to even involving our families and also other community groups use our cafe for meetings and we've been catering some healthy options for them. Yeah, students are cutting, chopping, dicing, making these beautiful meals and they're really proud of what the meals look like um, when they go out on the plate. We don't eat the stuff, what we cook, we give it to the public and then I took the recipe home and I cooked with my family. I'm Aiden and I'm year 12. It's what more fun, be able to grow stuff and actually take it home. It's just something that I want to do. When you walk through our cafe, you just feel that pride and that really sense of purpose for the students and they're feeling really connected, even for students who have graduated coming back and having a coffee and a chat and they really love it and they do feel connected to our school. Uh, my name is Gus. Uh, my role here at Echuca Twin River Specialist School is as a PS, educational support or a teacher's aide in old language. Okay, the garden here at school started four, three or four years ago. Um, we started with nothing. It was actually just bare granitic sand and then we laid out roughly some beds and we just started growing plants. Um, we were able to build up the garden and design it so that it's accessible for people with mobility, special mobility needs. It's very important to offer the healthy food and drink options to the students because if you don't have that knowledge, then it's very difficult to say, oh, actually, I'm going to make a salad tonight um, and just off, off the top of your head, make a salad. But at least if you've sort of been introduced to that at school, um, then you might have that knowledge and you might think, hey, I'm, you know, I can make a cheap, healthy meal here that's going to taste good and it's really easy. We, we recognised that we needed a watering system and that's enabled us to produce consistently higher quality uh, fruit and vegetables. The journey for produce once it's been harvested in the garden will depend a little bit depending on what produce we're harvesting. For example, the watermelons that we've harvested uh, yesterday, that's in the fridge now, in the fridges which were provided actually as part of the healthy Lodden Campaspe program. Um, to chill down and tomorrow those watermelons are going to get cut and delivered around the school. Some of the students are involved more in the physical side of things. Some of the students need physical activity to help them self-regulate. A student who's vision impaired, for example, and can't see necessarily the actual beauty in a flower, can feel a flower like the echinacea, the cone flower, and can get some idea about its it's, it's shape and it's, it's very tactile. Some of the students have meticulous and very quite beautiful handwriting. Those students will be asked to write the labels or the plant tags that you'll see around the garden. Some of the students love to rip things out of the ground. So you're gonna get them weeding. It just, it really is based on the students' abilities. And obviously there's a lesson that has to be delivered as well. So we're trying to target each student with their abilities to where they're going to fit into that lesson. It helps with mental health and all that stuff and it's actually very good fun. If a school had the opportunity to set up a garden I think they should definitely go for it. <laughs>